we will now be discussing the various disorders related to heart and the system that is circulatory system. means we'll be talking about all the disorders whether it is associated with heart, blood vessels or even the valves and the functioning everything. We'll start with arrhythmia. Arrhythmia means irregularity in the heartbeat. irregular heartbeat and this is normally due to damage to SA node. Due to damage to SA node. We know that SA node is the natural pacemaker of the heart and this is the place from where the stimulus or the impulse for the heart to contract generates. And when this stimulus is generated, it is normally generated in a rhythmic manner and that is why there is a regular heartbeat which is maintained. If something goes wrong with this SA node, then the rhythmic contraction of heart does not take place. So whenever this rhythm breaks, that is known as arrhythmia. And how do we treat it? The treatment of this is by implanting a pacemaker. And that pacemaker is artificial. Artificial pacemaker is implanted. The modern artificial pacemakers which these days are used, <coughs> they have lithium halide batteries. And the reason why this lithium halide batteries are used because the, of the longevity or the duration for which this pacemaker can work. Normally lithium halide batteries have a life of about 10 years. So once this pacemaker is implanted, it is going to be good for at least 10 years. And if after that it is to be replaced, then only we need to replace it. So now what exactly is there in a pacemaker? In a pacemaker, there are three parts. The first part is the pulse generator. Pulse generator is basically the part from where the stimulus is going to generate. And here we are talking about pulse as a stimulus, not the pulse which we measure on the radial artery. So it is pulse or stimulus generator. And this is actually made as of, made, made of lithium halide batteries. So from here the pulse would get generated. The second part is known as lead. There can be one or more. One or more leads. Leads are nothing but cords which are going to extend from the pulse generator that is the battery part to the electrode which is going to be actually inserted into the wall of the heart. And third is the electrode. This electrode is actually uh, inserted or is connected to the wall of the heart. So there is a pulse generator which is a battery. There is a lead which are actually cords. And electrode are those terminal ends which are actually attached to the muscle of the heart. Now, there can be two types of pacemakers. One is known as single chamber pacemaker and the other is two chamber or dual chamber pacemaker. So, there are single chamber pacemaker and the second one is known as dual chamber pacemaker. And as the name tells us, 
single chamber means the electrode would be connected to only one chamber and invariably that is the ventricle and dual chamber means it would be connected to both auricles as well as to ventricles and depending upon whether we are using a single chamber or a dual chamber pacemaker the number of leads would change in a single chamber pacemaker there would be only one lead because it has to go only into one chamber and dual chamber uh, pacemaker would have two leads going into the uh, part or those chambers. So if we have to just draw a rough sketch of what exactly the pacemaker is going to look like, there would be a battery, the lithium halide battery and if this is, we are talking of a single chamber pacemaker, then there's, this is one cord and this cord has this electrode at the end. If it is a dual chamber, then there would be two such cords and two such electrodes. So this is actually the lithium halide battery. These are the leads and these two are the electrodes. So depending upon the type of pacemaker, we can have one or two leads. But the battery is going to be lithium halide. And the reason is because this has a life of about 10 years. Now where exactly is the pacemaker implanted? Normally the place which is chosen is just beneath the collar bone slightly on the left hand side. So that is uh, where this battery would be implanted. The cord would reach up to the heart and these electrodes would be inserted into the chamber depending upon which one we are using. So this is the most common place where this implantation takes place. Just below the collar bone on the left hand side. And this is how the pacemaker would work. It will generate that stimulus. That stimulus would help in contraction of the heart. And this will regain the rhythmicity of the heart and this problem of arrhythmia can be taken care of. So this is one disorder which is associated with SA node. So now let us talk of the next disorder. The next disorder that we are talking of is also associated with conducting system. As we have seen arrhythmia was due to uh, abnormality or damage to SA node and the next one which is known as heart block this is also caused due to abnormality in conducting system so this is also due to abnormalities in the functioning of or working of working of the conducting system. Now we know in conducting system there is SA node, AV node, then bundles of hairs, Purkinje fibers, all these things. So depending upon where is this abnormality, these hard blocks can be written as SA node block that means when the SA node is not properly working, only that part of the conducting system. Second, when AV node, SA node is generating the stimulus, but the AV node, which is the pace setter, is not able to collect that stimulus and send it to the ventricle. Then it will be called AV node block. And third would be when the bundles of his are not able to carry that impulse up to the walls with the help of these Purkinje fibers. So those are known as bundle branch blocks and it is written as B B B bundle branch blocks because we know the bundles of his there are two branches the left and the right 
So if it is the left branch which is not working, then it will be called the left bundle branch block. That is B, B, B. Or if it is the right branch which is not working properly, then it would be called the right, again, bundle branch block. So depending upon which part of the conducting system is not working properly or there is a normality in that, depending upon that, there are three terms which are given to these abnormalities. If it is only SA node, from where the stimulus is properly not generated or is of less intensity, then it would be SA node block. If SA node generates this stimulus properly, AV node is not able to collect it or pass it on to the ventricle. Then that would be AV bundle block or AV node block rather. And if the bundles of his are not able to conduct that stimulus and depending upon the left and right bundles, whichever gets affected, we have left or right bundled branch block. So these are also associated with the abnormalities of conducting system. Now, as we are talking about the rhythmic contraction of heart and abnormalities in that due to this conducting system, we will take two more conditions. One condition is known as bradycardia. In this, the heart rate is abnormally low. So this is abnormally low heart rate. Now we know that our heart rate is 72 times per minute and that is what we define as the normal heart rate. 72 times our heart must contract or be in a minute. So if this number falls below 60, so if it goes below 60 times per minute, then that condition would be called bradycardia. Again, associated with the same. The next condition is tachycardia. In tachycardia, there is abnormal increase in the heart rate. So abnormally increases or increase abnormally low. Here it was abnormally high heart rate, we can say. And how much would be considered as high when it goes above 100? So if it is 100 times per minute, then that would be considered as abnormal. Now here we are talking about the normal rhythm. Heart rate goes up during exercise or due to certain emotional conditions. We are not talking about those situations. In normal situation, normal resting position, when the heart rate should be 72 times, if it falls below 60, then that condition is known as bradycardia and if it exceeds 100 in normal situation, then that condition is known as tachycardia. So these are certain disorders which are related to the heart rate or the change in the rhythm of the heart rate. Now, there are a few more disorders which we will take up.